Hello. Wait, what? <laughs> I know. I'm going to start ripping on you. Just for the record, you guys, today, for some reason, me and Donica are ripping on each other. So yeah, it's kind of fun. It is kind of fun. So uh, where are we right now? We're at Paradox. And it, it I mean, I'll, I'll let you do the talking. I mean. Oh, I love it. Yes. Oh, I could talk about this place for hours. Probably. Yeah. I've been wanting to come here for a long time. And we're finally here. We just kind of showed up and came and they're like, yeah, of course, we've been waiting for you. It's really welcoming. Um, Damien, our wine. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Yes. Very nice. He was incredible. Very to nice. say the least. Yeah. I've been wanting to come here for about a month and I'm glad we finally made it. Well, I did. <laughs> yeah. So um, my favorite was the 2006 blend and your, okay. <laughs> and what? Mine was those seven. <laughs> yeah. And, and can you tell us why? Um, I like those seven because it was very light and smooth, really sweet. I don't mm -hmm. know. It's nice to have a bold wine, but the lightness and the smoothness, I don't know. I'm just favoring today. And in the past, I really, really enjoyed that particular one. So on our first mission, you said that you like stinky pinots. Um, how did today's pinot, did you like today's pinot? I did like today's pinot, yeah. but it wasn't yeah. that pungent, like, you know, distinctive you know, smell and taste in a Pinot. It was nice and soft. It was definitely had that characteristic of a classic Pinot, but yeah. not overly stinky and pungent. It was nice. Yeah. And the rosé here was really nice, oh, too. Oh, yeah. It was dark. Remember that? How it dark was it was? It was nice and dark color. Yeah. Um, not quite as pinky. Yeah. You know, in the color, more like a orangey tone to it. Yeah. But sweeter than a lot of rosés I've had, it, which I liked. It yeah, and the cab at the end, I mean, you obviously have to lay that down for a while. Yeah, that one was really good, but mm -hmm. it does need some time in the bottle. It does but need some time. overall, I'm coming back. Oh, I'm definitely coming back, too. Uh, in the inside, a very elegant decor, nice, classy, but classic. not pompous. Or I mean, it's... Great it's like a really... venue, too, for events. It's huge, and it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And really quick, before we cut out here, um, what happened in the car on the way over here? How I freak? <laughs> yeah, I was, um, shh, don't tell. I was uh, texting and driving, and you freaked out. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I freaked out. He's like, oh my God, you're close to the white line, you know. The I did not say that. I said, whoa, 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 because I didn't want to Yeah, be and rude. I was like, what, are you, are you okay? <laughs> He's like, oh, you almost ran off the road. I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, um, I'm excited about the next spot, and uh, we'll don't see you guys nervous. there. I won't be nervous. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. This property in '96. It used to be Gerard, and he actually replanted. How you guys doing? Great. Good. Cool. So uh, why don't you tell me your name, tell us your names rather, and uh, where you're from. Kendall Hood and Jim Hood. And Dustin, Florida. Dustin, Flor Dustin, Florida? Dustin, Florida? Dustin. 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 Between Flo Pensacola and Panama City up in the Panhandle. Awesome. Awesome. You guys having a good time here in Napa Valley? Great time. Love it. So between the 06 and the 07, this is a, kind of a, well, the Sauvignon Blanc was out, outstanding, mm. you said. Yeah. Definitely. So between the 06 and the 07, which would you, which would you go to first? The 06 was the Crossroads, correct? Um, yeah. Yes. yeah. Personally, I would go with the Crossroads first. Mm -hmm. Just okay. as a drinking wine, if you're going to sit and just have some wine, maybe after dinner, that would be the one to go with. If it's you're a little easier. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a, lot of, a lot more tannins in the, the other one. The, yeah. The steak. Either way, both very flavorful. Oh, no. you can't go I mean, you either. cannot. Yeah, this this has been truly an amazing experience, especially with the uh, with the cave downstairs. What did you guys think of that? That was cool. That was the first cool. cave yeah. we actually went in like cool. that. Out of eight wineries we've been to, it's yeah, unique right here. Great, absolutely. Thank you very much, very you guys, good. and uh, we'll taste some more wine now, I guess, huh? Excellent. All right, cheers. So, what do you think? Awesome here at Rudd. What do you think? We are at Rudd, and we it's amazing. The grounds are beautiful, the gardens, and just 
everything's really nice. The view, the vines, and yeah. the wine just topped it off. Yeah, the wine did top it off. I walked away with a bottle of the 07 uh, Crossroad Cabernet. That is a Cabernet, right, Cam? Yes. yes, sir. He says yes. And we do have a guest cameraman. His name is Cam, the cameraman, and he is, I mean, his hospitality is incredible. He's knowledgeable. He's human. He's relatable. It was awesome. Great experience here overall. The cave, what do you think of the cave? Caves the caves are amazing. Incredible, yeah. I think I found my next, you know, event space. Yeah. <laughs> hey, now, Cam, can you do events in the cave or no? Yes, sir. You just let me know and I'll sort you guys out. Okay, cool. So we can do events in the cave. I don't know if I can afford that exactly. And I couldn't afford that wine, but I couldn't walk away without walking away with a bottle of that 07 cab. So um, what was your favorite? You and I have, we definitely now are discovering that you and I have the last one we contrasting had the palettes. Edge. Was the Edge? The Edge. The Edge Hill. Right? Edge Hill. Edge Hill Mixed Blacks. A yeah. little sip of that and I was gone. I was like, what? Are you talking to me? Yeah. It's so good. You know, I, I think this is one of the uh, few occasions where you and I have correlating palettes, and that was my favorite as well. So, um, great experience here at Rudd. You guys definitely check it out. Definitely. Much, lo much love to Cam. Much love to Appointment only. Appointment correct? only. Appointment yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, much Worth love to it. Cam. Much love to the couple we met from um, Florida. They were so cool. Very nice. I will. I will podcast about them later on the Vino Lit Show. Donica. Uh, so, what are we going to get a beer now, or what? I think it's time for a beer. I think it's time for a beer. <laughs> Donica had her burrito. Edit that out. <laughs> yeah, so everybody, peace. Peace. Yeah, so Donica is taking her time with the Corona. And so am I. Well, not really. Anyway. Yes. Okay, so yeah, we're here at Anna's Cantina closing up the... Uh, the mission for the day. I'm having a Racer 5. Donica's having a Corona with a lime. She made me go back and get a lime. What is it about the lime, dude? I don't know. It's kind of a tartness. A tartness? Is it's that your... taste buds. <laughs> That's your descriptor. A tartness. Tartness. Okay. Cool. So, um, here, I'm going to hand the camera to... Or should we do a cheesy... Like a... One of these things? Okay, here. Alright. So... Yeah, a great mission today, awesome mission. Rudd was by far the star. I said that, I tweeted that, uh, you know, Rudd's gonna be the star of the day. Um, and, I mean, it was. So, what do you think? Do you think Rudd was the star today? Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I can't say I love, love Paradox. Paradox, yes. But Rudd and, is and good. Damien was his name? He was incredible. I mean, so I'm not trying to diminish him. It was just uh, two really good experiences, and now we're at a bar having a beer. Um, yeah, good day. So, do you have any thoughts? <laughs> Donica's driving, I have to say, it's like being, it's like being in a roller coaster on a skinny road in a speedy car. It's with impressive. a Latin Scorpio. <laughs> a Latin, yes, with a Latin Scorpio, yeah, exactly. Good luck! Donica's multi-talented. Oh, that's something in my eye. Ah, it's probably some of your lime juice or whatever. Anyway, oh my god. So yeah, Donica can tweet, eat a burrito, change her Pandora radio station. I mean, um, it's pretty impressive. Just don't get me caught. I didn't film it. Yeah. But either way, good day today. Um, Donica, just some final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up and enjoy our beers. And uh, we might hit up the Martini House, Martini which is House. closing soon. But Why is that closing? You said that in the somebody other Somebody else bought them. P.F. Chang's? The owner, yeah, about them. Oh. That sucks. Well, so is there going to be Chinese food there now? Or? I have no idea. Okay, so your final thoughts on the day and then we'll... I love the day. It was great. Um, I really liked Paradox. Beautiful location. Rudd was just very different. Very um, smaller case production, smaller, more one-on-one -on -one tasting and yeah. tour. But it was good. Yeah, and I want to give a shout out to uh, Cameron, the cameraman. He is awesome. Also, want to give a shout out to that couple from Atlanta. It looks like Donica's going to drop the camera. Are you going to drop that? You're holding onto it like this. <laughs> okay. Anyway, for Napa Chicken, the SoCo Kid.